Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So find a way to let others know if you're in danger and you need help. I've heard that if you call the police or 911 and you try to order a pizza or something, like is, there's like code words that you can do. Is this a thing? I mean, unfortunately, <laughs> I mean, we see a lot of this online, but unfortunately, the abusers are seeing it all online, too. Mm. So they're going to know what they're you're gonna doing. They're going to know what you're doing. Yeah. Like they're, yeah. You're not getting away with something. They're going to know. Right, right. So unfortunately, you could try that, but I think you're better off finding a safe person who will call for you and you do something else that's something off the wall or private that just you guys know. Now, in the organizations like we talked about, um, do they have programs where they will help you leave and, and get into a shelter? Okay, great. Yeah, there's there's definitely <laughs> <laughs> just throw me under the rock there. There's yeah. there's shelters and there is assistance out there. Is there enough? No. Is it oftentimes women call and they're full? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, yes, there are assistance, but like everything, funding is not enough for the need. Yeah. Um, and so, I would say create a plan. Um, if you can get into a shelter and it's an emergency situation and you can, that's amazing. But also try to be creating longer term backup plans for if there's not that availability. And and what if you in your circle of people that you trust could go and stay with a friend? Right.